Mike, can I terminate the grounding electroconductor directly to the XO terminal? I asked because you usually don't see a grounding bus in the transformer. Because he sent me an email, I'm like, why are you asking me this question? Well, Mike, you know, there's usually not a grounding bus in the transformer. I'm like, ah, all right. We're talking about the grounding electroconductor. That grounding electroconductor ultimately is going to go to the XO of the transformer. Because see, the grounding electroconductor going to the XO of your transformer, or maybe not XO because they could be different letters, but let's just say to the, to the grounded point of the transformer, is for the purposes of grounding that system. System meaning the winding. So if you'll notice my graphics, I think almost always I have the grounding electroconductor going to the ground bar, and that ground bar is required now by, by 450.10 to be physically inside that particular transformer. And you might be able to buy transformers now that actually supply that, that bar. I've heard that. I've not been officially told that, Mike, that's a standard now in the UL. They have to include it or whether just some manufacturers include it or not. So here's your grounding bar. You take the grounding electric conductor either to the grounding bar or to the XO. See, now the code actually says that you ground your system to the XO, but then there's an exception that says that if your system bonding jumper is a wire type, also a bus type, well then the grounding electric conductor can terminate to the grounding terminal bar. And that makes it more practical. I think I have a graphic here showing you that if you wanted to, you could have taken that grounding electric conductor and let's say there's a lug right here, properly sized. Well, you could have gone right to the XO and that'd have been perfectly fine. So there's no problem there at all. Now, there's your 450.10A rule. I mentioned just that two or three times already. You are required to have that terminal bar for grounding and bonding, and it must be installed and bonded inside the transformer enclosure. We probably should add text in there that it cannot be covering up any uh, ventilating holes. And we can zoom in on that, and you can see that there are no ventilating holes in this location here, so that lug is fine. 